Hi guys, good morning. It's Saturday today and I'm on my way to church. I don't know if I'll do a full vlog today, but let's see how it goes. So right now I'm driving down to church and okay, we need to move. So guys, I'm driving my husband's car, which doesn't have the phone holder. So I have to hold my phone while I'm driving, which is very bad. So I'm going to stop that right now. I just wanted to introduce the vlog so that if something interesting comes up, I won't just start from that, you know. Church now. We're supposed to wash our hands before going in. Um, it's Saturday. I know I already introduced the vlog, but it's today is Saturday, and I'm in church for choir rehearsals. This is my first time back in church actually since the lockdown. Church started last weekend, but I couldn't make it because I had to go to work. Saturday and Sunday but this time around I'm only going to work today which is Saturday I don't have to go tomorrow so I'll be able to make it to church tomorrow so that's why I'm in church right now for rehearsals and after the rehearsals which is like another two hours I'll go to work I'll show you what my church has done just to be in line with the regulations of social distancing and all that I already showed you guys the taps outside where we wash our hands before coming in and all that so I'll show you what the chairs and the seating arrangement looks like so they already took off the seat here left this one took this off left that like that we have it all over the church we have it here too everywhere so that's what the seating arrangement looks like so, and I think for the choir we we'll just decongest the podium and all that. That's pretty much what the arrangement is like. from church I just uh, I've actually left church already I'm almost at my office now but because I was driving I could update you guys so I'm almost at the office and I'm just going to be spending like three four hours max here I just need to supervise a few things that's all I'm not really doing anything much but I don't know I think this particular vlog will just be a very very chill vlog like I don't think anything serious is going to be happening let's see we'll see let's get to the office first and see what's up and then we'll know I'll see you guys soon bye so hi guys welcome back it's been about three or four hours since my last clip when I said I was on my way to the office and I've been very busy since I got here that's the only reason why I haven't checked in with you guys but I'm here I'm working and um like i said i knew today's vlog was going to be very chill like nothing really serious is happening i'm just at work trying to just you know i came here to supervise a training and i'm also just using that to catch up with work and all that so i'm sure i'll end up adding tomorrow to this vlog just so that it can be a bit interesting and all that but I didn't just want to leave you guys hanging and then come back tomorrow. So probably won't do anything again on this vlog for today. Except if maybe when I get home something fun happens. But for now, I'll see you guys. Good morning guys. Um it's Wednesday today and I know in my last clip, which was on Saturday, I said I was going to come and end this vlog on Sunday. But guys, Sunday was so busy that I didn't even have any time to pick up my phone to vlog, right? So and because I didn't want to end that particular vlog, I said that I'll continue it later in the week. So like I said, today is Wednesday and ordinarily I should be at work, but I've not really been feeling well since like Monday evening and today I decided to take 
time off work or at least off work physically even though i would still have to work remotely so uh like try yesterday i really wasn't myself at work and i wasn't sure whether it was a physical thing or more of an emotional thing right so I, I just couldn't really pinpoint what exactly i was feeling so i decided that today i was going to just stay home and see if i can get in tune with my body and find out exactly what is wrong so that's why i'm off work today so um the first thing i did this morning now was to actually do a full body exercise like a 30 minutes one hour like 30 to 45 minutes full body workout you know we we all know that exercise has a way of improving your overall mood right and i've not really had time to do my full body workouts for a while now because of work and all that so i just keep most times in the morning but today i decided to do that and already i feel very good like i feel energized and all that another thing i think i have missed so much is swimming so i'm going to try maybe later in the day after i do some work i'll see if i can go to my gym and see if the pools are open and if i can just swim for like maybe 30 minutes or one hour maybe that would also boost my mood and all that then if i get up to any other thing that is fun i'll just come here and check in with you guys and let's see how we can end this particular vlog so guys um it's been about six hours since that last clip i had a lot of plans but it started raining shortly after that clip and trust me i've not been able to do anything since then i've just been resting like i said i really wasn't feeling well so i just took that opportunity to rest instead and i'm just about to step out of the house now this is like 5 30 pm in the evening so i'm just going to like a supermarket around with my kids tony say hi papa say hi hi so like i also want to get them out of the house they've been indoors all week and let them just also step out of the house and see something different from what they've been seeing since so you know this lockdown it's been hard on everybody and I, I really can't imagine how it feels for the kids they can't see their friends like they can't go to school they can't go to church they can't go anywhere you know so like i said we are going out um, we just want to get a few things they want ice cream i also want something for myself so I guess we'll see you guys soon. Okay, so we just got here and everybody has to mask up. Where's Todimo? Let me see. Todimo, pull it up, pull it up. Okay, good. Okay, so we have to use the sanitizer. Put your hand. Good, say. Okay. Oh, oh boy. Rub it. <laughs> yeah, let's go. <laughs> You guys are so excited to be out of the house. Come back here. I'm not even seeing the size that we're all buying. Hold on, please. Don't worry, let's take one here and drop it inside. And let's take um, one strawberry and vanilla. Can I have that one over there? This one? Yes. Thank you. Can I have this one? No. Yes. Thank you. This way. Okay, Mommy. This is why I like to come out by myself. Joy, I'll help with that. Please don't touch anything. What's this, Donnie? 
Candle. Candle. Oh, this candle. is the ticket I was asking you what it is. Candle. Yes, so candle. Very, very big. Okay, you guys will have to drop your biscuits so that they can check it out, okay? Okay. When we pay for it, you take it back. Hold on, hold on, let's pay for it. Hold on. My god. Okay, guys, so we just finished from here now. I just remembered why I don't like going out with my kids. Like, trust me, especially when we are going to the supermarket, they want to buy every single thing. But for me, I already know what I want to buy. I already know where exactly, like, which section I'm going to. So I'm just picking what I want to pick. And then sometimes I just bribe them with one thing so that they can just let me be and then i'm out of there like i will not even spend 10 minutes so um i'm heading home now i want to try and make a kind of special native rice when i get home so i've bought a few of the things i need here now and i want to see if i can get what i what else i need along the road like carrot like vegetables and all of that so i'm hoping i'll get that on my way home now so i'll see you guys when we get home how much? Okay. Green pepper, how much? Which one is 100 naira? These tiny ones. How much is this one? Okay, I thought. And I just got home. And um, let's show you guys a few of this, like what I really bought. So I bought this meat. I also bought chicken. They are very affordable. The particular store I went to, I like going there because you can actually get, if you are trying to shop on a budget, you can get things that fit your budget. I don't like to buy things and then things that we cannot eat immediately. So, like this now cost just 680 naira. This cost 596 naira. This is for like a whole meal or two meals. And I also bought ice cream for the kids. This is not our usual brand, but this is what I can get from that particular supermarket I went to. So I bought two of them, two different flavors. Then I bought this for the kitchen scoring powder for pots. And then I bought coconut. I like having coconut at home. Then I also bought vegetables. So I'm going to be cooking basmati fried rice. That's one of the reasons why I also bought the chicken and the beef. So with making basmati fried rice, and I just bought some carrots. I already have carrots at home. Go and bring the cabbage. I already have some carrots at home before. Not the one that you cut, but the other one. So I already have some carrots at home before. So I just bought some more. And then I bought green pepper and I bought this um because what they call it is he let <laughs> green beans or whatever it is called for, runner beans runner beans or something like that i don't know then i bought green pepper and i don't even know if this was supposed to be green and is red or it's supposed to be red and it's green i just bought it because i, I like having different colors and okay so I, I have some cabbage at home before and then i have sweet corn so and then i have the basmati rice so i usually buy this pack and we eat it twice so we've eaten it once and then tonight soon will be the second time so this is going to be our dinner like the only time i like to cook fried rice is when it's with basmati rice like if it's not basmati rice i don't enjoy it so we'll be doing this today and that will be dinner so i guess we'll see you when we are making dinner or while we are eating dinner or right after dinner so um, I already set out everything that I'll be using here, right here. I have my carrot, cabbage, green peas, green and red pepper, the chicken and the beef. We've already parboiled it. Some onions, um, sweet corn, and then here I just have spices like seasoning cubes, thyme, curry, dry pepper, and some salt. So I'm also using the chicken broth to parboil the basmati rice. Usually, I, I so when we are waiting for dinner, my kids are already getting very pecky. So, I want to just give them some of the ice cream that we bought earlier. And this is what I'm doing. Oh. 
hope they will still have room for dinner after this, but they like fried rice anyway. So they're going to eat it regardless. Tony, don't touch. Yummy. Do you guys want chocolate? Do you want me to put chocolate? Yes. yes. Yeah. No, mommy, I don't want to put chocolate in my own. Baba, do you want chocolate? Mm -hmm. Mommy, I don't want chocolate in my own. Are you sure? No. Yeah, well. Okay, so let me just put for Bobo. Just a little bit. No. What do you say? Thank you. Thank you. Don't mix it. Oh, yeah, you guys can sit down. On your table. So, our rice is ready. And then we are about to start the stir frying. Sorry. Give me a napkin. They're frying our veggies. So I'll be frying the chicken first, the chicken and the beef first. So we allow that to fry a little bit before we add every other thing to it. I'm just going to add the onions now. I didn't want to add the onions from the beginning because it's okay, more bread and cheese. It's more bread and cheese. We are going to be eating fried rice, okay? So, I don't want the onions to burn while I'm trying to fry the chicken and the beef. Close that door. Don't give me too much bread and butter. We're adding the seasonings now just so that the chicken and beef can have it embedded before I had every other thing. So my mic is up. Let's see if I can break it. Sweet corn now. That's the last thing. And then I just let them all steam together a bit. Before I add my rice. So um, instead of putting my rice in the frying pan, I'm going to transfer the veggies into the rice because the frying pan will probably not take everything. So I'll do that now. like now it's ready and about to be served so guys i think i'm actually going to be ending the vlog here so right now we are having dinner let me see yeah i always like to have very small portions i'm sure i mentioned that in one of my videos where i was talking about weight loss and all that so I like to use a small plate and then I also like to eat in small portions and actually it's also late so but because I've not really had anything serious to eat today that's why I'm still indulging myself and all that so I'm sure this vlog is already very long so I'm not going to be having any other thing to eat right now we are having dinner and and after that I'm just going to and then we go to bed so I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog I tried to spice it up a bit by cooking and showing you guys how I actually make my own basmati fried rice. Everybody has their own different recipes. This is how I make my own and I enjoy it that way. Sometimes it might not be chicken, it might just be hot dogs and all that. So you can just like um, play around with whatever it is you want to put inside. I had it in mind to do native rice before. That's the one you do with palm oil. But because I was able to get every other ingredient I need for fried rice, that's why I ended up doing fried rice. So... If you guys enjoyed this vlog, please remember to give it a thumbs up. And if you have still not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe to my channel. And I think I also need to mention that it's free. 
because I heard somebody say, oh, it's free. Like, the person was quite surprised. So it's free to subscribe. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.